Hello everyone. Today I will talk about cross probing in Altium Designer. Altium Designer provides various powerful cross probing and cross selecting capabilities, enabling fast, efficient navigation between schematic and the PCB design domain. The cross probing and cross selecting features are powerful SaaS tool to help locate objects in one editor by selecting the object in the current editor. Cross probing is used to point to a chosen object on the current document and then jump to its corresponding counterpart in the target document. Between the PCB and the schematic editor, full cross probing support is provided for documents, components, bars, nets, pins, pads, and so on. Literally, with a single click, you can select a supported object in either domain and see it highlighted in both. When you design a PCB and the PCB becomes very large in size and a lot of components are there on your PCB and now what you are interested to do is you want to shoulder all the components on your printed circuit board but you don't know every location or it becomes very inconvenient. When you get your printed circuit board, shouldering the components on the board is your main task now. But cross probing technique can help you to find out every component just with a single click and this will make the task very easier. In order to use the cross probing technique, you have to open both the document, the PCB and the schematic. Now you have to right click on either of those documents and then you will see split vertical or split horizontal. So if you do the split horizontal, you will see windows top and one is in the bottom. Or if you prefer to do the, this is the merge all, will merge all the documents in this main tab. Now I like personally vertical splitting. Now. In order to select a particular component in the PCB document, uh, for example, I have the component here R12. I'd like to find it out here where exactly it is located. Now, left click on the schematic and then go to tools and then cross probe. And you see the mouse pointer is a, like a plus sign. So put it on top of the component you would like to see on the other document. Now whenever I left click here on this component you can see R12 in the right side. But you want to see the exact location so you have to cancel the cross probing mode in the left side by right clicking your mouse pointer and then the plus sign is gone and now bring your mouse pointer on the right side window and then zoom out and to see where exactly it is located. Okay, I can clearly see it is right here. You can do it in the other way as well. In order to get back to, his, to its normal mode, uh, just right click somewhere and then click the clear filters or you can press shift plus C. Now, the PCB document and the uh, schematic document are in normal condition. So, I'd like to select a component right here on this PCB and I'd like to find out the corresponding component on this schematic. Okay. In order to do that, first left click somewhere else on the PCB document and then go to tools and then select cross probe and then select the component you would like to find out. For example, C7, just press on C7 and then you can see in the left side window in the schematic C7 is right there. You want to uh, see where exactly it is located, then you have to do the zoom out. And to do the zoom out, at first you have to cancel this cross probing method by right clicking your mouse pointer. So right click and then the plus sign is gone. Then bring your mouse pointer to the left side and then scroll it. I mean, you can zoom, zoom out to see where exactly it is located. Okay. So this is C7. In this way, using the cross probing technique, 
you can do another interesting thing. You can find out corresponding wires. Okay, so I'm doing it here again. Cross probe, and then I would like to see this connection right here, and then cancel it. And you see this connection is right here. Net C six underscore two. If you'd like to find out any particular, uh, for example, pin, then you can uh, do it as a cross probe, and then this pin of op amp two, pin one, and then right click, and then come here, and you can see this is the number one pin. Okay. So to cancel the cross probing method, or to get back to the normal stage, you can press Shift C or right click and then clear filter. In the cross probing technique, you usually need to do the zoom out and zoom in quite a lot. Now, in order to do this zoom in and zoom out, I use my mouse wheel. Scroll it up or scroll it down to see the zoom in or zoom out. But sometimes, you see, you have to press the control button and then you have to rotate the mouse wheel scroll it to see the zoom in zoom out now i'll show you how to use only the mouse wheel scrolling up and down to see the zooming options okay in order to do that just click here on this wheel and then you go to the system and then mouse wheel configuration you see this main zoom main window if you select control and then mouse wheel then you have to use both of them to zoom in and zoom out but if you only would like to do the zooming with the mouse wheel then just remove that checkbox and then apply and then click apply and ok so this is a good technique and easy zooming in and zooming out Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe my channel and put a thumbs up to get more videos like this. Thank you.